solutions and rectify leaking problems and identify common design errors. This is Silver Star Tower. Silver Star Tower has actually five of these shafts, five of them. Uh, four are for plumbing, one is for electrical. And inside the shafts, we have pipes going in, up, and down. There are so many pipes going inside that. There's a pipe supplying water to the top, portable water. There's one supplying water uh, from the well water, untreated water. Then there is toilet water coming down, and there's liquid waste coming down. And all of these things are ventilated. So these are the shafts. When you have a big building, you do that one. Even a small building, we can do that. Orca House, we said in the future, we're going to put the pipes on the outside. Because in the future, when there's a leakage, it's going to trouble us. Uh, super affordable flats. Who's working on the super affordable flats? Okay, all the pipes are outside, but they are put in a nice place. You don't put your pipes on the front side. You put them on the back side and you hide them. Anytime you want to even hide them some more, you do something. Now, there's a better technique. Exam tower. Who have done servicing at the exam tower? Asari. Now, exam tower, where the balcony is facing the tenant's court. When you go into the balcony, then there's it's another small. balcony. Yes. That's, that balcony has a lot of pipes. Yes. And for me, that's the best thing. If you can hide your pipes <coughs> inside a balcony, within a balcony, it's the best. Because going inside the shaft, Samsung, is it nice? It's not nice. They are very tight. Unless you do big shafts and you can put this. So, but for small houses like Orca and uh, SEF is considered small, it's not a 10 story building. Putting scaffolding on a 10 story building is scary. It's better to do it uh, inside. So, once you uh, so you can put them on the outside if it's one story, two story. When it becomes very big, then you put inside shaft or outside shaft. Okay, so that's the story about the shafts. Number two, the drain pipes should be one and a half inch or bigger and never. Basically, we all know that bottle traps come in one and a quarter inch. But based on our experience 20 years ago, okay, so this is one and a quarter inch. Now the UK law it allows this to be one and a quarter, but for us as a standard, for us. Not Ghana building code, our own standard. Once it goes from here, it has to become one and a half. Because I have realized if I have two sinks and a uniroll and the water is flowing, it doesn't flow very well. It has a breathing problem. So in our standard, it's always one and a half. That's our own standard. Not Ghana building code standard, not UK standard. That's why we say here we are doing our own standard. And if uh, and I hope you are doing this at Orca House. Right? This thing we talked about a long time ago. So when we say drain, uh, the drain should be two inches. Okay? Two inches, three inches, four inches, or bigger. The drains. And these are, this is bad material. This is not good. Where's the metal one? Yes, this one is industrial rooftop. We have used this at Japan Motors parking, right? Yes. And this thing, the big leaks and inside, this is like three inches or four inches. Uh, okay, and this one here, this is also here, it's not good. It's galvanized by the thrust. So we used to use this. We started with this, then we moved to this. It has an air trap. But this is the best. This one is meant for showers. This is meant for showers. It's stainless steel. And if you look here, it has a water trap. <coughs> and then it has a clean out. So when people bath, they have hair coming down, especially the woman with the long hair. So basically this one here, you, you open it and you do it, and it's big, it can take a lot of flow. It's known as a high flow. You know, keep, keep, you know, keep it like this. Just let them 
uh, just take it like this around and you give this around and make sure it comes back. Here I take three quarter inch, three quarter inch on this side and one inch on the other side. Bring me the pressure gauge. I put the pressure gauge here and I do the pressure gauge here. This is both gravity. On the same level? Same level. Will the pressure be the same or different? It's different. It will be different. That's right. The, in your opinion, which will be higher, the three quarter inch or the one? The three quarter inch will be higher. Okay. The three quarter inch will be higher. I also have a contribution. The time comes at one side, the exit points. Yes. Is that a one inch or two? Is it one inch or two? No, we, we, we cut it whatever we want. Okay, this, this is called the pressure gauge. Okay, it's a PSI. You also have a bar. So if I put this pressure gauge, on the three quarter inch line, and I put the uh, gauge on the on the one inch. One inch uh, so uh, you you believe that the three quarter will have more pressure? Okay. Wow. There's a lot of juju here today. <laughs> For me, I don't believe that. Why? No, no, I, I don't believe because I'm a physicist. Gravity is the same. Gravity is the same, it doesn't change. Yeah. So let's divide the class in two, in two parts. Those who believe uh, that it will be different, put your hand up. Yeah. Hey, don't ask a question. I'm asking the question. I want to know, those who believe that the left and right will be different pressure, put your hand up. Okay, fantastic. Put your hand down. Those who believe that the pressure will be the same, put your hand up. Hey, we only have three people. And those who didn't vote, put your hand up. <laughs> okay, now to prove you all wrong, I have to bring some more uh, uh, hydrodynamics in, but I think uh, I'll need an hour to explain that. Okay, so we have the, um, an anaerobic anaerobic system, uh, chambers. It goes through this, it, it does the breakdown and it's clean initially. And it goes through the oxygenated one. This is why we have the diffuses or the, um, the air coming in, in these two chambers. Okay, it can be more or it can be less, depending on the system you have, the, the demand coming on it. For a house, it can be one of these or maybe two of these or less. Depends on the sizes and then the, the, the usage. And this is why we have uh, maybe differently, and let's say we have chippings. So sun, we have chippings here, and maybe we have the fiber out over here. So that after that, then the water will go out. So we have the pipe coming in, you know, going out over here. So the leach flow is basically when it comes out here, you want it to go through a series of pipes, or it can be one pipe with holes inside, so that the water will spread into the ground. Okay, you can use this for. It's very good for um, where we have lawns and where we have a lot of irrigation and grass and this thing. It's very good for that because it's very nutritious for the plant. Okay, and then this one, if you are constructing it, you have to make sure the area around it is very porous. So sometimes they put uh, chippings and they put it put it on it, and then there's so much clay. If you have clay, you can't do this obviously. So you have to also check the ground you are doing this on before you can use it. If not, then you have to dispose of the water. But before you dispose it, it has to be tested. So you test the water and make sure the quality is good enough. But in Ghana, even our system, we are not testing it, we are just the water. <laughs> <laughs>